Hello and welcome. This is Earth and Cosmos Natural Healthcare and Prevention. This webinar is about pain when experiencing fatigue. So it could be very useful for people that are in a state of exhaustion or tiredness or chronic tiredness and they're starting feeling pain or they always have been feeling pain while being tired and exhausted. My name is Tommaso Perego. I'm a naturopath, herbalist, iridologist and nutritionist. And since 2018, I launched a, a chronic fatigue syndrome natural therapy program to support people that suffer from chronic fatigue, fatigue, tiredness, pain, nausea, and cognitive dysfunction, all related to the symptom, the main symptoms of fatigue. Uh, the thing that we will discuss in this webinar can apply to any person that is start experiencing unusual fatigue or unusual persistent fatigue or pain <clears throat> or pain in the joints, pain in the back, unusual diffuse pain or even localized. And it can also be useful for uh, people diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and ME, but also with the chronic long-term illnesses like long COVID, uh, for example, and even for fibromyalgia. The first question that I want to ask is, is pain inevitable? Do you feel or think that you have been told you need to accept pain and live with it? Because if we start from this perspective, we have to say a strong no to that. Pain is not inevitable, it's not part of the illness, but it's actually a, a particular signal that tells us that we need to act fast, not only because it's painful, but also because it is moving the illness towards of the worsening, and so we need to stop it quickly. How long have you had it for? That will tell us how many years have you been carrying on these pains, without succeeding in, in removing them from your life. That's part of the assessment of your pain. We need to understand how pain is affecting you, where is it coming from, how your body is while experiencing this pain. In the course of the webinar, we will discuss exactly this so you can understand where you're coming from with your pain and what it will be the best solution to resolve it. I have this kind of a picture in my head, which is uh, related to what happening when tiredness comes in. So tiredness appears and you have it one day or the next, then it starts getting more constant. Obviously some people may jump in already at the third or the fourth stage of this image, but let's say that the average person can do this type of progress and after that it becomes exhausted, he needs a long day of rest between one day of activity, he has difficulty sleeping, he's not properly resting, so in the morning he's always tired, and then pain starts also becoming a side problem together with the fatigue and then you have serious issues with motility. From one side the tiredness already was an issue of motility but the pain it creates uh, really big problems and so you're getting more tired, more uncomfortable because of the pain. The final and big stage is the frustration that you have been seeking help but you have not managed to get any good one and nothing is changing. So what's the future? What's going on in this progression? Where, when can I get out of this? The acceptance that we discussed at the beginning is something that we need to say no, but people end up accepting the situation because there are, there are no apparent uh, solution. The next step from here is to look at the assessment as we do in our clinic at Earth and Cosmos. This assessment should show you briefly how we look into your pain so you understand that pain is not like oh it hurts give me the painkiller bye it's something more subtle and more articulated that depends on the condition of your body if you don't know the condition of your body for which the pain is generated you will not succeed in taking care of the pain so in our body energetics assessment uh, we will uh, we will ask you obviously the normal generalities and uh, uh, your email to then get contact later for the report. And we will ask in general, what are your main health concerns? Let's say uh, diffuse pain back and legs and chronic fatigue could be my starting point. We will investigate six different states of your body. We call it the six energetic states. Each of them comes with a series of symptoms and aspects that you might observe in your body. And 
By asking you this, uh, you will give us super important information to understand the form of your pain, if we can say in this way. So, for example, the first state is one we call of heat, where your body is in hyperfunction, is doing too much, is trying, trying, but it cannot achieve, and so it overheat, and so you can feel heat. You can have redness in your body. You can even have swellings or tenderness. So you see, there are different observations you can make on your body, and if that applies to you and you take it, for us, it's a golden information to understand how to treat your pain. The next state is what we call the cold state. Instead of going outwards, which could be the heat state, you're going inwards, you're closing down, you're protecting. And so, because you feel deep cold inside you. And that could be seen in your tissue, so you can have a very pale skin or pale limbs. Uh, they can be white or even darkened, the point to be gray or even blue or purple. Um, a very remarkable sign for the cold state is that you lack sensation. You have less function in your arms, in your legs, in your body, in your, in your tissues. And you lack response to stimulation. And of course, you can have cold hands or cold feet. So these are the aspects of cold. Then we go into the tension state. The tension state could be something not related only to physical tension in your body, but also the emotional tension that creates problems in the body. So it could be the stress, for example, or the anxiety. So you could have tension in the mind and the body. But very clear sign of tension is something that very few people pay attention to, is that when symptoms come on suddenly, or symptoms keep repeating, or symptoms alternate, like constipation alternates with diarrhea. If you are asked about this observation, you know that the therapist is seeking to understand the internal happenings of your body and to gather from those uh, what is the trouble that your body is trying to face and it expresses with the symptom of pain. That is the key to read pain, to read the form of pain, so that you can target it better with the remedies and the therapeutic intervention. We have also the relaxation state, where opposite to the tension, your tissues are too relaxed to do their proper function, so they're lacking in tone, they're collapsing, prolapsing, and because of that, they leak fluid. So the fluids that have to be pushed and directed to the right parts of the body, they don't do that very well. So you can have problems that are caused by this relaxation state. We have the dry and atrophy state, which is another very interesting state where people obviously are lacking lubrication and hydration, so oil, water and oil, and you can tell from the tissues. So you, your tissues are dry, your tissues are wrinkled or withered or hardened. You can also tell from the scalp, I mean, the, the health of your hair, if you're falling out, your hair are falling out or if you have poor scalp health but also in the digestive system, because if you're dry and in an atrophic state, you can be bloated, you can feel weak, you have gas, you have constipation, hard stools. And I hope you can see the difference between this state and how very specific we can reach by understanding internal states and energetics of the body, for which we then differentiate a type of pain and apply a different remedy for each different state. The last state is the dampness state, or also called the stagnation state, where from this type of observation we understand a state of toxicity, internal toxicity, due to the stagnation of the fluids and the poor circulation, poor drainage of your internal fluids. The clearest sign is when people say that they feel like having a hangover, like feeling all the time, or after food or meals. And in general, they have a dull musculature or facial expression. They have catar or phlegm or mucus, uh, um, and fluids are retained and thickened. So with this assessment test, I hope I showed you the way we can perform a, a thorough, serious investigation of the state of your body from which we understand your pain symptoms. You can do this test at any time. Just ask us with a message on Facebook or, or by email. 
and it's quite useful because if you do this test then uh, you can simply book a time within the slots available and you can have a chat for free with myself for half an hour maximum but it's enough to discuss this test and so to give you some insight of what action you need to do to start changing towards uh, uh, habits and uh, dietary pattern or lifestyle pattern that can guarantee you don't fall into the energetics that will cause the pain. Going back to the presentation, so let's look at the science for a moment so we understand why we're saying all of this. Pain is a problem in the body. Usually it can come from two sources. One is trauma, you get an accident, you get hit and so you experience the pain. The other is from internal sources. Most likely the internal sources of pain are the one of toxicity your organs, your tissues and your body internally is not performing well, is in a state of uh, derangement and so inflammation develops which causes the pain. There are numerous sources of toxicity in our body, it can come from the food, it can come from the air that you breathe, it can come from your emotions. Pain is a sign of inflammation, inflammation of the tissues so the tissues are not in the right environment. So it's the environment that needs to be changed uh, to resolve pain. If you use, for example, a painkiller, you don't act on the environment. You're actually making the environment worse because you put chemicals and drugs in it. The painkiller acts on your sensation of pain. So it reduces and you don't feel it. But that doesn't change the environment. This is why people remain in toxicity state all the time, even when they get the painkiller. Painkillers are not cleaning you, are not resolving the cause of the pain. The reason why we, we want this webinar to be out uh, and to talk to you is that this can get worse. Inflammation, if it's in the fluids or in the tissues or on a superficial level, it's a problem, but it's resolvable. But when it goes down to the organ and to the tissues of the organ, it becomes problematic. I wanted to show you this picture. Uh, I hope it's not too creepy. It's an artistic representation of the system of capillaries that are floating in our hands. And it's pretty accurate. We also have an x-ray <laughs> picture, which is pretty much the same. But going back to the artistic representation, I just want to show you that in science, for a long time, we, we thought that the cell was at the center of all our uh, processes in our body. The cell is still very important, but it's not at the center. What is at the center is this matrix of fluids. And this picture for me represents the evidence of how fluids are part of us, governing us. Look how many millions of tiny little tubes that carry fluids all over the places. And this is just the hand, imagine all the rest of the body. That to show you how we are completely surrounded by fluids. And fluids govern, protect us. For example, when temperature changes, the fluids in our body creates a buffer for protection. When we have traumas, it's the fluid that doesn't make something to break our bones because they, they block it. If it is now clear for you that we have this particular feature that we live as a fluid body and we have to get into the rhythm of this fluid to really understand how our body works, eh? let's see what happens in a situation of chronic fatigue syndrome. People that suffer chronic fatigue syndrome have a body that cannot remove efficiently toxicity. Therefore, it cannot control, neither reduce the inflammation. And most of the time, because it's something so oppressive to have this every day and constant with lack of energy and being in pain, that you end up using intervention like drugs, for example, or painkillers that cause more inflammation on the long term. It is clear that where we need to act is always the same, removing toxicity. But how do we do it in a body that is not able to do it properly? Clearly, it needs some help in that specific point. And there are strategies that are totally natural, acting on the diet and using herbal medicine to help you achieve that. The people that have tried this, working with us as clients, they succeeded. We are talking about people that have been for 10 years suffering chronic fatigue syndrome and then in a week and a half the pain was gone and in three, four, let's say seven weeks the fatigue started subsiding 
and they've got more courage, more understanding of their renewed body powers, and they start doing new things and going back to work and having back their lives. Where I want to show you one example from one herb to show how remedies could actually help you. There will be probably several other webinars where we show different herbs or even how to do with the diet so that you start having some picture in mind that you can solve this problem first and second, how. So I want to present you the Angelica Arcangelica, which is a beautiful plant you can find in a lot of parts and read out to you some extract from my favorite herbalist, in particular Matthew Wood. How did they describe the property of this medicinal herb? Angelica Arcangelic is one of the grand traditional remedies of Northern Europe. It grows along rivers and on the shore of the Baltic regions and the Scandinavian states south into alpine areas. So it's all over the place. The root of the Angelica is brown, furry, oily, and pungent. The picture of a bear medicine in American Indian medicine. And that's very interesting. When the bear comes out of lethargy, of the winter retirement, is very skinny, he lost a lot of weight. So he goes and finds foods that reactivate his body. And so the bear eats such roots in the spring to wake up and start rebuilding his mass. Angelica root is pungent, bitter, sweet, oily, warm, and stimulating. Hence, it has long been used in herbalism and medicine as a karmic to warm and stimulate the digestion. The bitters and the sugar get appetite and the secretion going while the spicy compounds stimulate the circulation to the stomach and periphery. The oil stimulates the fat to the kidneys, the adrenal cortex releasing the cortisol, which supports digestion and raises blood sugar level. The circulation of the blood is open to the periphery to bring nutrition to all parts of the body, to stimulate fluid movement in the possibly dried out joints, to rebuild the fatty deposits, insulating the nerves, and to improve circulation to the hands, feet, uterus. I hope this picture will help you understand how this could be applicable to a person suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome. Of course, it depends on your form of pain. And this is just an example. But for people that are cold, in the cold state, for people that are in the stagnant state, this herb is phenomenal and can bring powerful recovery, powerful nourishment and powerful reactivation of what is gone into a toxic state and what is stuck at the moment. Because the property of this herb is that it makes fluids more active, breaks up excessive concentration of phlegm, it promotes peripheral circulation and opens the lines in the skin. It's like reactivating your body. Maybe we can see ourselves as bare creatures going out of our lethargy. Maybe it's a nice picture to have in mind as a motivation. But beyond that, I just wanted to show you that herbs are acting gently and deeply and they have many different properties that could act on the different energetics of the body. So if you know your energetics and then you know what herbs can apply for you, then you know the road for a full and long-term recovery from chronic fatigue syndrome. You can do this. You can start this type of program and this type of assessment today if you join the programs that we prepare for you. I would like to present it to you briefly. So the Chronic Fatigue Syndrome Natural Therapy Program is a 38 days program that will help you recover from chronic fatigue syndrome. It's a comprehensive assessment system to carefully analyze your symptoms from every angle. And I hope I showed you already a little bit of what we can do just simply with an online test. It's totally non-toxic because it's a program that supports your body with diet and herbal medicine at dosages that are never toxic so that your body can eliminate naturally without any extra effort. And it's a program of full support to help you with the recovery because we stay with you throughout the 38 days. This program basically is done in the following way. It has three stages. The first stage is a 10 days free trial, which could also help you to taste a new program, an alternative natural therapy program that you probably never had the chance to, and you can do it for free. 
and look what you can get on the 10 days free trial. Your diet can get assessed, your symptoms pattern get recorded and examined, an online test is taken, and you speak with the specialist about the concern for 30 minutes for free. This can happen in these 10 days, and once you speak at the end with the therapist, you will have a full picture of what's going on, and then you can freely decide if to continue to stage two or, or just thinking you will learn enough and you can leave. If we go with the stage two, which is the one where you have to start paying, then this will be a full examination of your body system and symptoms. We will check thoroughly all your medical history and current medication and will perform the research due for your case and do the further investigation if needed, like test, etc. After this stage, you will go on stage three, where we will give you the program for the diet, the herbal's remedy, and, and also you will have at the end of the month uh, the follow-up assessment. Usually this course will last one or three months, but it can be extended as many as you need. What the program will do to you is that we'll bring recovery for you from chronic fatigue syndrome. Please check the testimonial at the bottom of the page that will give you some evidence of what we achieved with, the, with our clients. It will provide you with the tools to create natural transformation in your body. We're not suppressing, we're just nudging your body and doing what it can do. And finally, this is the key to true lasting health because removing the toxicity, activating these positive cycles of continued regeneration through the transformation, you will achieve the recovery. You can find all this information on www.cfsnaturaltherapy.com forward slash program. The value of this program is huge because in the price of one, we give you three one-to-one -one meetings with a naturopath specialized in chronic fatigue syndrome recovery that you never find uh, less than 500 pounds uh, in London health for three meetings. And we give you ongoing support, which is most likely a person with you all the time, every single day via messages and every week via phone call, even for free in the first 10 days. Then we give you a high quality of a prescription, organic and biodynamic at very low dilution, so very strong that it can allow us to give also low dosage so to not impinge too much on your uh, dietary habits and patterns, entering gently in your body to make the changes stick. And of course, the, our expertise is the expertise that is coming from naturopathy, from herbal medicine, Western herbal medicine, traditional Chinese medicine. We do tongue and pulse examination, iridology. So these are so many expertise that is like getting advice by multiple practitioners by all in one program, kind of a more than 2,000 pounds value. But the price that we do is for one month of therapy, all inclusive of all the things that we discussed, uh, is 397 pounds. However, this month we're going to do a discount for 297 So that's, that's what we do. Don't forget that this price, 297 pounds, includes three meetings with the practitioners, one preliminary, one the research consultation, and finally the follow-up. In total, you spend two hours and a half with the practitioner. Then you have a full package of herbs. We never know how many herbs you need. Maybe you need creams, oils, or tinctures, or teas. That will depend on the examination of your case. Then you have uh, a minimum of four calls and that you will receive and where you can discuss throughout the month. Plus, you can have daily chat and messages. Also, you have access to our app. So our app is uh, free of charge and you can also use the database, the nutritional database. You can use it to track and you can even keep it even after the course of therapy. So remember, this price is inclusive of all of this. You can just simply join by clicking on the buttons on this page and you will just give us the details. And remember that after you give us the details, the, um, the, this subscription where we ask your card details, but the program subscription is a 10 days free trial, so you won't be charged. You will be charged only after 10 days once you have already spoken with the therapist uh, and you have already done the test and you know if this is for you or not. So I hope this was helpful. I hope I clarified that there is a need to understand the form of pain and your body energetics before addressing with the therapy your pain. 
And that is normal because pain is not one off thing, one black and white. It has different forms and depending on how you are suffering, that's the secret to find the right therapy. The right therapy can be applied very simply with diet and herbal medicine. Once you discover the secret, we as Earth and Cosmos provide this service under the cfsnaturaltherapy.com program. So please check our page again www.cfsnaturaltherapy.com forward slash program and check all the details of our program and see if it's something that you might want to be interested in doing. Thank you and I'll see you in the next webinar.